The Nigerian Civil Society Situation Room has asked the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, to apologize to Nigerians over what they describe as poor conduct of the 2023 general elections. In his final statement on the elections, the Situation Room maintained that the electoral body failed to live up to expectations despite several assurances from its chairman. The convener, NLB, called for an amendment of the constitution to eliminate the position of resident electoral commissioners under the control and direction of the commission through the appointments of state directors of elections to replace Rex. We are quite disappointed with what came out because we think we had the capacity to have done better. And we are still asking the INEC chairman to apologize to Nigerians because of the electoral issues. You know, the, because of technology, we demand for, uh, for, for an apology because we worked, we asked the INEC chairman if the electoral process, if the technology will work. This election was about technology, but this technology was disappointing. National Commissioner in Charge of Voter Education, Festus Okoye, had admitted that there were challenges, but urged Nigerians to look forward to better polls in the future. There are a lot of positives from the election. We, there are also challenges from the election. Based on those challenges, we are going to look at the reports from domestic and international election observers. We're also going to look at reports from political parties. We're also going to look at reports from our own electoral officers, from collation officers and returning officers. And we are going to see whether there are issues and things that we can deal with administratively. And we deal with those ones. We can also see whether there are still issues that demand both legal and constitutional change or, or, or reform. Then we will go before the appropriate organ of government and deal with Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.